So this is one of the more frustrating parts of being a car enthusiast and building a car when things don't quite go to plan. And what do I mean by that? Well, it's Thursday night. I just got out of work, came right home. I'm supposed to be running the NB at Lime Rock and filming at Lime Rock with it on Saturday. I worked extra hard to get the six speed and diff swap done in time. I finished everything up Tuesday night and took it for an initial test drive. So why is it back up on the fucking lift? Well, let me tell you why. Notice my NA Miata is up on jack stands with the rear wheels removed. You guys know where this is going? Everything was going fine. A couple hiccups that I noticed when I was driving the car. Uh, the NB shift knob, or shifter that I used from my 99 fits the six speed transmission, but the ball is too small at the end of the pivot. So the six speed is in fact bigger upon closer inspection. So I had a lot of play in between gears while in the car. This is an NA five speed, but I know the NA and the NB are the same size ball. Mazda speed, six speed is bigger. So I'm gonna be switching the shifter out to the six speed one. I'll take that other one, keep it as a spare for the white FD build. The, real, the reason why this thing is back up on the, on the freaking lift is because as soon as I started to apply some measurable load to the rear wheels in a corner after shaking the car down, the fucking diff keeps lighting right up and going open wheel, one wheel, tire fire, and it's shot. And it's really frustrating because I had a conversation with the guy who was selling it. He was asking all the money for a diff, for a Miata diff with an RX-7 clutch unit in it. I got 150 bucks off of it. But even then so, I just paid an ass load of money for a fucking open diff, essentially. And it sucks. I'm so frustrated right now. And it's stuff like this that like, leaves a bad taste in a lot of car guys' mouth. And I've seen a lot of people step away from the scene because of stuff like this when stuff doesn't go right. You always take a risk buying a used part. I'm not gonna say the guy's name, even though I wanna call him a fuck. I'm not gonna mention names, but I didn't have a great experience and I sent him a message, not really expecting him to do much of anything because I bought it from him a year ago. I mean, obviously you guys know I'm doing these videos in pretty, pretty close to real time, so I just got around to putting it all in. Um, but he didn't even respond back to me, which I thought was kind of shitty. He could have been to say, hey, you know what? I'm sorry I sold you a shit diff, but whatever. So here's what I'm gonna do. This is, this is the process that I go through when I run into to shit hurdles like this. First I get beaten and broken because I often finish these car projects late at night when I get like that extra boost of energy because I'm so close to the end. So I push through my, my like sleep depravity and get the project done. Then it dawns on me that something's fucked and I, and I get devastated and then I like freak out and I start researching stuff and like looking at my options when I probably should just go to bed and get some sleep and deal with it the next day. After a good night's sleep, I collect myself and I get to that, that point where it's like, you know what, fine. You shit on me and that's fine. You got away with it, but I'm not gonna let this beat me. Fuck this, I'm gonna make this happen. So now this is what I'm gonna do. I'm going to pull the 4.1 Torsen out of the NA Miata, cause let's face it, this fucking thing ain't going anywhere anytime soon. I'm gonna put it in the car so I can run Lime Rock this weekend. I'll experiment with the 4.1 diff. By the way, the 4.3 and the 6 speed felt pretty healthy in this car, but maybe it's just because I've been driving the RX-8 most of the time. <laughs> Anything feels fast after driving that. Anyways, I'm gonna run Lime Rock with the 4.1 this weekend. I'm gonna fucking buy the clutch packs to rebuild this diff in the, in the, in the Miata housing, and I'm gonna show you guys how to do it. I've not rebuilt the diff before, but let's take this as a learning opportunity. I'll drop this fucking thing down, we'll pull it apart, and we'll go through changing the clutch packs. I'll see if you have to set backlash depending on what I have to remove to, uh, 
to replace the clutch packs, but we're gonna do it. And you know what? It'll be great content for the channel and it'll keep things moving along. And then I'll, I'll have a decision what I'm gonna do with the diff. We'll see how the 4.1 acts in there. So that's it. During part two, part one of this video series here, Joe Wall, the old man, Santa Claus, and I, we kind of figured out a relatively quick way to pull the diff out of a, of a Miata. So I'm going to follow that same technique right now. I'm going to try to get this all done in one night. Out of one car, out of another car, and that one into this car. Let's start the timer now. Well, there's the diff out of the white car. Uh, I was doing pretty good. And then I forgot the fucking rivet things on top of the power plant frame. It's such a bad system. These things up here. So that was about 25 minutes, start to finish to get this out. Next, we're gonna do the red car. I'm just gonna repeat the same steps. And I probably won't film the whole thing as in much detail because I don't have as good a lighting. And you just saw me do it on the white car. Same exact process. probably the fucking worst part of this whole ordeal. And the reason I'm picking this up and hoofing it by hand is because that stupid Harbor Freight transmission jack was leaking and I returned it and they didn't have any more so I just took a refund and I'm doing this now without a transmission jack. I am the transmission jack. I also have an extra set of hands for this.
those ears on the on the studs. Turn towards me. There you go. Yep. Push hard and wiggle. Wiggle it. There you go. There you go. Thank you. That should be the rest of the struggle. It's all downhill from here now. Still striking out. So I didn't end up taking it to Lime Rock. Uh, total time was probably about two hours to swap both of those diffs. I wasn't really timing that well because I was stressing out and freaking out because it was the day before. I wrapped everything up on Friday immediately after work. 
Uh, took this thing for a road test Friday night, and that is when I thought everything was good. I was loading up my tools for Lime Rock. I decided to look underneath the car, and I saw this. Leaky, leaky, leaky axle seals. Um, these were not leaking when I had them in the red Miata, but these I've seen Lime Rock on numerous occasions and a lot of drifty stuff, probably getting them, those seals pretty hot. And I just think that when I removed the axles or and or put the ones from the NB into it, um, I disturbed those seals and broke them. So both sides are leaking. I happen to have a set of diff seals or axle seals right here. Um, I didn't end up taking the car, but you have to look at sometimes the universe's way is of, of telling you things, and I think this is the universe's way of telling me, do not take this car to Lime Rock. We were filming all the promotional stuff for the new show, so I ended up taking the black FD RX-7, and I must say, as stressful and as shitty as that week was, because I just felt beaten at every corner, no matter what I was doing, it wasn't even just the car stuff, I was just having one of those like bad weeks. But things have to even out. Right? Life is always full of up and downs. This is, one, this is one of the key things that I really learned is that when you're down, instead of fighting it, which I was trying to fight it, just kind of let it go and just know that things will get better. At the end of the day of filming, we ended off with a gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous back set. I'm gonna drop that real quick right now. And we got some awesome, awesome, awesome shots. I'm so excited for the show. I have, there's four of us all together that are working on this thing and we just wanna do it right. Um, I think you guys are really gonna, really gonna like what we have in store. We are actively working on it. We are gonna be filming episodes and there might be some sh call outs for any of you guys who want your cars tested. I'll explain a little bit more of that down in the future, but I'm gonna leave you with this one quick clip as just like kind of a little bit of a teaser of what's to come. There's gonna be an official promotion coming out soon, so stay tuned for that. And do me a favor, guys. When it does, please, 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 and I never ask this that much, please share the crap out of it. We really want this show to do well, and the more activity it gets, likes, subscribes, shares, all of the above, will help it get the attention that it deserves because we're really trying to put together something special. We know there's a gap right now out there in the car world and we want to do it right for you. So that's it for this one, guys. Stay tuned till next time. Done.